Hey YouTube, here's a fun and very original idea I made for the kids. What I wanted to do was make an environment that they could use their boats, their, their Animal Planet underwater adventure boats, their animals and things like that. So I wanted to make a, a realistic platform that the boat looks like it's floating above the water. I wanted, that, I wanted it so the boat would actually sit in and look like it's floating. You can actually see the hull underneath here. I wanted an area that the divers can go in and out of the boat and into the water. And I wanted it up in the air and tall enough so they could play with it here that if they wanted to play with their submarine, their submarine could come up under here and they could have some military adventures underneath the water and make it look like divers are going down to the boat and back up or, up the, or to the sub and up. So I wanted something that was raised in the air and would give them a little more room to play and have fun. So let me show you how this works. First and foremost, let me take the boat off of here and the little diver. And here's another little guy and diver. I cut out a shape in a simple Sterilite tote lid. So here is the, the shape of the boat. I made a template for the boat shape, you can see it right there on the blue. Um, I made the, the boat shape using a piece of cardboard and tracing the bottom of the boat they had. What was good with this is, <clears throat> it could take other size boats because it's a V-hole boat shape. So I could put a fishing boat on there. I could put this little jet ski in there and they can have a bunch of adventures and make it look like they're really on the water. If you look up close, let me see if the, the camera will be able to get the detail. I made, let me turn it sideways maybe, there you go. You can see over here, I made water ripples with a knife all the way around and I scalloped the water so it made it look like it's ripples and water and they jumped in the water. If you want to be creative, this could even be ice. You pretend this is a sheet of ice. All right, this is what I made for the top to hold the boat in the air. Let me take off the next piece. <clears throat> this is a simple frame that came from a laundry bag. This laundry bag, uh, over time, broke and we replaced it. I kept the metal tubing and these plastic 90 degree angles and put them together, painted it silver so it would kind of blend in with the lid, and this holds up the clear plastic lid. So you can get something like this by buying a simple laundry bag with a frame or go out and get some wood and make a little thin frame with a one by one or something like that and have uh, a square that you could use to hold up the plastic lid. So what I did was found the lid first then made all my measurements where I wanted this box frame to be to hold it up so it would fall right in the middle of the lips on this lid. Obviously if I had the ability to have a plastic company I would make a nice rounded smooth edge thing you wouldn't see all the lips this is what i have to deal with if i'm making my own toys from scratch so being creative i had to do what i had to do so here's your lid <clears throat> here's the box frame and if you can see behind it let me uh, move some of these creatures here i'll move the frame out of the way what i made was a photograph as a backdrop so it looks like they're really underwater. I found a great picture on the internet of a ship underwater, found another picture of some tuna, found a picture of some seaweed over here, and as a, as a graphic designer, that's my, my job, <clears throat> I get to fool around in Photoshop and have some fun. I made this image, had these printed out large scale bought the foam core with a self-adhesive front and stuck my photographs on the front of this and I designed it so when we were ready to put this thing away at the end of the night it can fold in half and here is your flap that holds this up in the air and keeps it from falling over so your flap folds over and all I did was simply use packaging tape, clear packaging tape to hold this foam core up and make my 90 degree angle. This is taped on with packing tape. <clears throat> so as I, if I want to just fold that up and put it away, it'll lay flat in the closet or on their shelf or wherever they want to put it. 
So this is easy enough for them to build and put together. You pull out your cardboard, extend the back, put it down, grab your form that's already built. They can undo this and have all the tubes come out and put this under their bed. And then put on top of that your water, or if you want to make it ice, you can do a lot of things with it. Put your dive boat right in. Now the dive boat is on top of the water and under the water, and the divers can jump in and fall into the ocean. <clears throat> or the sharks can come up and eat the man and pull him down. <laughs> anyway, let me get a couple close-ups here and you can see more detail. Hold on one second. I don't want to make everybody sick moving the camera too fast. So here's the boat on the water. There's the boat shape. The boat shape goes right in. And as you see, there's hull under here. So it's very realistic. It looks like it's really on the water. Now, as I said, I can put other boats on here and have that also in the water. So luckily that shape was useful for a lot of the boats and the toys that they already had. And underneath, let me lower this camera down, you can see the underwater scene. And my son decorated all this and I just tore it up for him. Sorry about that, buddy. Mm -hmm. That's alright. <clears throat> so you can have your, your men in here taking pictures, looking at the fish. You can put fake rocks and shells and things all around the pipe to hide the pipe but make it look natural and realistic so then he can ha be attacked by a killer manta ray that got out of the science lab. <laughs> so this is a fun kit. When you buy the, the Animal Planet kits, they come with a couple of <clears throat> tuna. They come with maybe a swordfish. Sometimes they'll come with a shark. Sometimes they'll have some crabs. So we did a lot of looking and finding the right kits. We put it together so we can have a very realistic looking underwater scene. As I've said in my other videos, we love to make realistic scenes. We like to make it interactive so the kids can play and have fun. Up there you can see the boat's hull through the bottom. And here we can see the diver <clears throat> as he's in the water and above the water. Is he saying, help me, there's a shark down here. Maybe I can make him hang out there. So we can have the diver looking down underwater. And they can have their own adventures and it's realistic and fun. So I hope this gives you some creative ideas and enables you to make some fun things for your kids. It's not that hard to make. It's very inexpensive. And the kids in the neighborhood will absolutely love it. If you have any questions or comments, give me an email. Send me some uh, pictures of some of your own ideas or maybe a video. Have a great day and God bless you. Bye-bye.